Welcome to today's presentation. Today we look at KCSE Mathematics Paper 1 2018 and we look at question number 4, 5 and 6. So we are told in the figure below A, B, C, D, E, F is a uniform cross section of a solid. Given that F, G is one of the visible edges of the solid. Complete the sketch showing the hidden edges with broken lines. So, in order to complete the solid, we'll simply have to do accurate measurements. So, all the lines which should be parallel must be parallel, and then the hidden edges should be shown by broken lines. In order to begin, we will have lengths which are parallel to F, G, that is from E we have a length parallel to F, G which will run like that from D and from C. We will also have from A and B running parallel to F, G. In order to achieve parallel lines to F, G, I wish that we use a set square and a ruler. This is how we are going to do it. The first thing we'll have to ensure that this edge of the set square coincides with length FG. And then the thing will be to transfer the line FG to point E so that we draw a line which is parallel. So during the transferring, we need to support the set square so that it doesn't shake. So let's have the set square along FG. Once we've had that, let's give it support with the ruler. And then we slide to point E. When we are at point E, then we will have to draw then once that is done, we can maintain the position of the ruler and keep on sliding to point D and draw in a similar manner. Then we can also move to point C, ensure that the ruler is stable. So at C we also draw the same. And then once we've had that, we can also do the same for A and B. But from A and B we'll have the hidden edges. So we'll just ensure that we have those in broken lines. So again from F, from FG that is, we can again slide to point A. Can slide to point A. We have it right there. So we notice it coincides with this, so we'll not continue to the other end. Let's see if the same case is for B. So remember, this continues the same way we have for A. A also continues in the same manner. We've already ensured that the parallel lines are actually parallel. Now we need to take the measurements for FG and maintain for all the lengths which are equal to FG. So we consider FG and then from there we also have 
this from E to the other point, come and mark it like that, and then from D, remember the length remains the same for all these points, then we also have for C to this other point, and then from B to the other end, and finally from A to the other end. Now the next thing is to draw. Let's join these ends. So we have this point here joined to that. Now at least these are the sides we can see, so we complete them using continuous lines. And then this point is joined to this. And thereafter, we can therefore have these other ones which are hidden. And these ones now we'll have to draw using dotted lines. We also have this. And finally, we have this one. Now, once we've had that, the next thing is now to label. Remember, this other side we have A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, at this point, we have G, H, I, J, K, and finally L. And with that, we have our sketch completely drawn as required. So, without wasting time further, let's move to question number five. For question number five, the lengths of three wires were 30 meters, 36 meters, and 84 meters. Pieces of wire of equal lengths were cut from the three wires. Calculate the least number of pieces obtained. So, in order to calculate the number of pieces obtained, the first thing we'll get the GCD. Now, the GCD should represent the length of each piece. So, I'll prefer the long division method. So we have 30, 36, and finally 84. So beginning with 2, we'll have here 15, 18, and then 42. Next, we have 3, and that is 5, 6, and 14. At this particular point, we do not have a common factor, so that means GCD is 2 by 3, which is 6. From here, we can therefore determine the number of pieces. So remember, if each piece measures 6 meters long, then we had three wires, 30 meters wire, 36 meters wire, 84 meters wire. So in order to get the number of pieces for 30 meters, we simply divide by 6 meters. So you argue that if 6 meters represents one piece, how about 30 meters? So we'll have 30 divided by 6. And the same should apply for 36 and 34. Or rather, not 34, 84. And this should give us 5 plus 6 plus 14. And that finally is 25 pieces. 
A two digit number is such that the sum of its digits is 13. When the digits are interchanged, the original number is increased by 9. Find the original number. So, first we will let the number be xy, where x and y are the digits, so that the sum of its digits is 13. So we have x plus y equivalent to 13. So let's have this as our first equation. Now from the next statement, we will have the second equation. So we are told when the digits are interchanged, the original number is increased by 9. So originally we have the number as x, y. So if we have value for this number, first of all we'll have the total value for the tens digit plus the total value for the ones digit. So for the tens digit we have 10 by the digit itself, so that is 10x plus 1 by the ones digit, that is y times 1, which is y. So this is the original number. So when we interchange the digits, we will have y x, so that implies that the new value is 10 y plus x. So we are told that when the digits are interchanged, the original number is increased by 9. So that simply means the new number exceeds the original number by 9. So we have 10y plus x minus 10x plus y is equal to 9. And that is 9y minus 9x is equal to Nine. We can simplify this further by dividing all through by 9, and that is y minus x is equal to 1. So this simply implies that y is equal to 1 plus x. So let's have this as our second equation. So solving equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously, we will have so I'm going to use substitution method. So we have x plus y and y is x plus 1. So we have 1 plus x and that should give us 13. So that x plus x, that is 2x plus 1 is 13 and then we'll have 1 crossing. So we have 2x is equal to 12. And finally, x is 6. So if x is 6, how about y? So y is simply 1 plus x, but x is 6, so that is 1 plus 6, so y is 7. So the original number xy is simply 67, where x is 6, y is 7. So that is it for this video. I want to thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.